This is Baggers View. Coming up, have West Brom finally secured their Premier League safety? Hello and welcome to Baggers View. I'm Paul Bradley and I'm joined in our Fort Dunlop studios by West Bromwich Albion correspondent Chris Lebkowski. Hi Chris. Hello. Well, great result for West Brom at the weekend. Mm. Does that mean they finally secured their safety for this season? I think they have actually. Uh, 39 points is uh, a fairly significant points total to have. Uh, Roy Hodgson tended to err towards 42, but I think one of the things you have to take into account is that there is a free game swing over some of the clubs at the bottom, um, which during the last six games of the season is a lot to make up. Um, I feel that 39 should be enough for them. I mean, Wigan play Blackpool this weekend, so one of those clubs won't get a point. Uh, Villa play West Ham, and although Villa have pretty much saved themselves, West Ham obviously need the point. So there are going to be a lot of teams still playing each other, and I think Albion should be should be safe now. Probably, you know, maybe a couple more points will do it, but I, I can see them getting to the end of the season and, and finding that 39 was actually OK. And the nature of the result at the weekend as well will be pleasing for Roy Hodgson, coming back from going goals behind and the, the sort of football they were playing at times. Yeah, I think somebody actually summed up this team for me. It's got a bit of the um, a bit of the sort of Di Matteo Mowbray attacking intent in that in that one respect, but they've also got the the spirit and desire that Gary Megson's team had all those years ago. There's a lot of battle and. and character in there and you know we saw the the 12 man move or the 12 pass move which led to Albion's third which was won thanks to Albion's tenacity midfield 12 passes later and Paul Shiner sticks one away and it, it, it's that kind of spirit but ability on the ball and quality that's getting them the results at the moment. Okay well you caught up with Roy Hodgson after the game and here's what he had to say. Yeah I was very happy with it. Um... When you go behind, in particular after working well to get yourself back in the game at 1-1 and then Barsley scores a goal like that, you, you can be forgiven for thinking this isn't going to be our day because it was a, such an incredible strike, you know, totally unstoppable. Hadn't done an awful lot wrong. I thought, you know, they obviously a bit foolish to, to concede the free kick, but our organisation then was good and Malumbu really put him under pressure by getting out quickly. It was just a wonder strike and... Coming so quickly after the 1-1, you I tend to think it's not going to be our day. But uh, the players, I thought, composed themselves very well. And in the second half, that we played well, and I thought that we were good value for our victory. Well, that was Roy Hodgson. Now, turning to Paul Sharnay, he's been yeah. getting a bit of a cult following at West Brom, isn't he? He, he has, actually. He's um, he started a bit of a craze on Twitter, which he probably doesn't even know about. Um, he, he's a great character, Paul. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, uh, going back to January, uh, he invited a, a select number of press to a, to a hotel room to meet him. Uh, he was very keen to sort of push his profile and and sort of show people who he is, and he, he put on a PowerPoint production for us. He's he's a zany character, and he brings that kind of fight and and almost a bit of charisma to the Albion side that gives them that spirit and gives them that sort of winning mentality that they're we're now seeing. And you know, we talk about the the Mullumbers and Odden Wingies who have had great years and great seasons for Albion, but I think Paul Shine has definitely been up there. He does a lot of work which isn't always easily detectable on TV. When you watch his movement during a game, often he, he does blot out a lot of threats from other teams. He did it with Berbatov at Old Trafford. He did it with Catamol on Saturday. He completely, completely took him out as a, as a threat in the game. I think that for the first 10 minutes, Catamol was very strong, very robust. Paul Shiner sat on it, sat in his territory, if you like, cut the balls out to him, stopped him from having any kind of impact. And Albion started to motor from that point. And he's been a really under, under lauded player, if you like. And, you know, he, he's having a great impact. He'll need to bid his best for the next game for West Brom against Chelsea. How do you see that going? Is it just going to be a bonus if, uh, if they get anything out of that? Well, we, we talk about these bonus games at Arsenal and Old Trafford where they got results. And... You know, Albion will be coming up against incredibly formidable opponents. Um, their Champions League future will have been resolved by then, one way or the other. So it's very difficult to know what kind of Chelsea team we'll see, but they will be strong. You know, they're still still hoping to, to move up the league. Uh, the league is probably a little bit beyond them, but 
you know, they will be tough opponents. And of course, they beat Albion by six goals on the opening day. So I, I suspect Albion will give them a good game. Whether they can, uh, I think it will certainly be the first massive test of Roy's unbeaten record. OK, Chris. Well, thanks for that today. And thank you for watching. We'll be back later this week with more Baggies View.